And now, DC, specifically the DCEU, has a phase one according to Dwayne Johnson. And I think that's pretty freaking awesome. Look, I'm not looking for anybody who's going to be dealing with the Warner Brother or the DC characters uh, or the Warner Brother properties. I'm not looking for any person to copy what Marvel Studios has done with their cinematic universe. I really just want somebody to come in, step up to the plate and say, hey, let's do our own thing. And there's this great article over on Cosmic Book News uh, detailing that Dwayne Johnson has said that uh, Black Adam is basically the start of phase one for the DC Films universe. And I think that's pretty freaking awesome. Uh, He posted a tweet uh, that said, Uh, In regards to uh, some positive reviews of Black Adam, uh, he said, This means a lot. Thank you so much. Black Adam will serve as our phase one of storytelling in our DC universe. So I think that's really cool. Apparently, at least he has some type of idea of what he wants to do, or at least what he wants the Black Adam character to to do and to be a part of. And I think that that's really cool. Uh, He was responding to some uh, positive tweets that were sent to him, uh, reviews that he had found online. And I also like that uh, in another tweet, if I'm not mistaken, uh, or he talked to the Associated Press, people naturally are going to want to compare the DC movies to the Marvel movies. And Johnson is a bit of a pragmatic person, a bit of a realist, and stated that they are not trying to take down the Marvel Cinematic Universe because they just can't. And he went on to say, uh, and do I think we're going to take any kind of bite out of Marvel? The question is unequivocally no, because to me, as we build out the DC Universe, ushering in a new era of the DC Universe, that to me is not our lead foot. It's not our goal to take a bite out of Marvel. And then he went on to say, what they've done is incredible. And he said, I love those guys. They're my friends. uh, And they are largely responsible for the economic drive of our business for almost two decades. So we don't want to be Marvel. And I like what he had to say to the Associated Press. He said, we want to be DC and how we do things. So that's what I want. I don't want to take a bite of that apple. I want to grab a new apple and I want to create from there. And I really can really appreciate that. He does not want to be Marvel. He understands that DC is unique, that they have their own advantages uh, and properties and uh, abilities and, and, and things that are unique to the DC universe and uh, the DC characters. And he said that he, he said, I want to embrace it. And right now is, of course, a unique time. And I think that's really awesome. I like this article that, uh, that I found here. And I'm really hoping that someone will just steer the ship. I'm kind of uh, beside myself, I guess I could say, in some aspects, because he is wanting to lead uh, in some in some way. I don't know how much he'll spearhead things, but he definitely wants to take the Black Adam character and produce a direction for the DCEU in some way. But the, the thing that I have about that is that there's reports of other directors and stuff already in development with other other movies. Like there's three other Batman movies in development, uh, specifically focusing on different Batman villains. Uh, James Gunn was recently reported to be working on some secret project. And it's like, okay, well, are we going to have a strategy here? Are we going to have some type of cohesion? Uh, What what are we going to do there? As a matter of fact, in the same article, it goes on to say that uh, Man Man of Steel 2 is in development. James Gunn is developing secret DC projects. The Batman director, Matt Reeves, is developing more villain projects. And there is a Flash sequel that has already been written, which I'm not saying is bad uh, at all. But it's like, okay, who is who is spearheading this? And, and where is it going to lead to? And will it be a cohesive type of uh, strategy? That's what I'm wanting to see. I'm sorry, but while I want the DC Universe to, to be itself and to be its to be its own thing, the Marvel Cinematic Universe had an overarching theme, overarching ideas, and things led to that ultimate moment that you get with Avengers Endgame. So much of it led to that. And I'm not saying that the DCEU has to take 20 or 22 movies, you know, whatever the case may was with the Marvel Cinematic Universe before we got to the payoff of, of Endgame. But even in smaller segments, I mean, who's who's going to spearhead that? Who's going to lead that and direct that? And that's what I, I would really like to see somebody step in and have that type of care and love 
and commitment and dedication to the DC universe in that regard. These are the most iconic characters in the world. Uh, it, it's, I mean, it, that is a subjective uh, statement to make, but is it really? Because I think we all know the truth that these characters are well-known and beloved and every single one of these movies should be huge blockbusters. So I'm really hoping that with, with someone on their side like Dwayne Johnson and his star power, that that will attract the type of talent and ability uh, that's needed to grab this this boat uh, by the oars and and take it to where it needs to go and bring things together and and listen to the fans and and remain true to the characters and and not change them up too much hopefully <laughs> but seriously uh, I've been seeing some early reviews that have been posted online and it's a mixed bag so far it, it depends I guess on what you're going into the movie to see and to expect uh, the, the main thing I do here is that there is a lot of action my only concern at this point is that from the trailers I've seen uh, the director who's doing this movie uh, seems to be borrowing, I guess you could say, from Zack Snyder and some of the cinematography, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but too much of it is is a bad thing. But we will see. Uh, visually, though, it does look spectacular, and I really want to see what they do with this. So we will see. Tell me your thoughts below in the comments. Hey, thanks for getting us past 100 subscribers. You guys are awesome. I look forward to what you have to say. Have a good one.